And welcome back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Jar. All right. In the last episode, we just did post chapter stuff, met the damn mafia, and now we're gonna head off to over here. Why not? We're gonna be heading off into chapter three finally. Uh, and yeah. Let's play Poltergeist. Will you have been joining us on our flight today? Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. See you later. Alright, cool. We should get on this limp and we'll be off. Finally! Fuck yeah! Glitzville. Um, yeah, this would be Glitzville, all right. How do they make it flow? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, flown from the sky or anything, has it? What should I know? That's the fish! Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I'm ready. Welcome to Glitzville, my favorite chapter of the game. Alright, just have to get that out there. I freaking love this chapter. It's so fucking fun. Alright, first we're gonna just run over here to get that star piece. I'm gonna check out the item shop because I think I have no items. Or, no, wait, no, I do. Oh yeah, we can get a Super Shroom, a Point Swap, Repel Cape, Power Punch, Thunderbolt, and Earthquake. This just does the thing where it makes you big. This does 5 damage to one enemy. This is just Earth Hammer, but stronger. This makes it so your evasion is higher, as it says there. This switches your partner's HP and FP. And this is just 10 HP. Pretty, pretty basic stuff. Pretty cool stuff. This is a pig. Hello there, customer! The aroma of yum in the air, especially a good smell, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dog. I like 10 coins for one, will you buy one? The inventory's full. Why should I store? Well, I, 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 I didn't think I had that. Hot dog, it's cool. So, this is good feel, honey. Not a bad place, but a little time myself. Probably get my stay here with the hostile buyer of the hot dog stand. And then this loading city becomes up quite fascinating as it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. Daddy, I'm hungry. And I want to eat a hot dog. I want to eat it right now. Great voices we gave those bombs. Those are going to be around here for a while. It's an end coupon. Fuck it. Actually, no, we need that. Fuck this dizzy. No, actually, no. Wait. Fuck this dry shroom. Shit. Fuck this dry shroom. Alright, so we got a uh, bartender man. Hey there and welcome, our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, take a load off, and enjoy. Uh, you don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? Just like to who digs on combat sports, dude. That's nice meeting you. That fabulous mustache, I've seen it somewhere before, you know. I know it. Yes, Mario, that's it. 
That is a definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. What the shit? Who's with this dog here? Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rock Hawk. Yeah, that's a name. It's def you, you definitely know where they went with that. No matter who's fighting him. Um, oh, oh, old school Nintendo. You guys knew what you were doing. Here we have a giant freaking button. You could just do that. And it flips down a staircase for us. How this works in real life, I do not know. No socks behind there. And we got a chest. Power plus P. Boost partner's attack by one. Uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a star piece there, but it doesn't seem we can get it. Uh, we'll have to come back to that another time. Just a gliding thing. Nothing too spectacular. And you can land on hot dog stand here, but I mean, eh, you don't really need to do that, really. The shine here. Which, honestly, when I was when I played it the first time, I never knew you could do that, and I I never got that shine until like I like looked at it. Like, How do I get the shine? I'm like, oh, you just do this. Yeah, I'm stupid. Here's just some photography people. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't, want, I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. God, I need some spicy stuff for freaking BuzzFeed. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes and bullshit scandals. This place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. What? It's called a fucking battle. What kind of battle match? It's the same shit. That's right. Uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Rock up. Ugh. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why don't you even show up? Yeah, you're him, it's talking wimpy. Stay out of the ring. I'll feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups. And then come see Uncle Rock Cock. I'll give you another world class spanking and send you crying home to mom again. Who I'm gonna fuck. Hey, wait, champ, that was a great A weapon. Yeah, that's on the match. You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can, hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come find me, bring it! I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock cock is the champ. <laughs> Check out this belt, yo. Um, you see that, Mario? The thing on that shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkles. That sparkles a crystal star. Um, but that doesn't make sense, sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Because it is, Koops. Don't fucking judge it. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we do here? Um, listen, Mario. I think the world is you, but really, we can't do that. It just wouldn't be right. The way I see it, we have no choice. You gotta fight your way to the top and win that belt fair and square. Okay. Okay, so I was stupid. I skipped the options, but the options were um, steal the belt or fight your way to the top. If you saw that one frame where I didn't press A, that's what it said. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Hey, Miss Mouse. The hell is the mustache? We meet again. Go! Well, hello there, you big belly hunk of man, you. You're a smashing dear. I'm afraid I'm the only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. What's up, Bob? You want to become a fighter? Mm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba. 
I stand in there. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty obvious if you know what you're doing. This is a room we can't go in. Everything else are rooms we can't go in. It's a lock here. Can't open it. Keep that in mind. Mr. Grubba's room. His thoughts? You want to be a fighter, Bob? Oh, alright, go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Hey, what time nation are you, son? Oh, we let you in. This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you're, uh, you're a one rude dude coming in without knocking. One down, athlete, eh? Uh, you wanna be a fighter? Who oh, yeah. we? That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an upcoming. Upcoming, wherever the fuck it's at. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all printed and rare, rare and go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Who are you calling skinny? Now play me a straight, son. You wanna live that glamorous life of a champ, don't ya? Darn, skip it! Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from. Uh, son, loud and clear. Sorry, I don't know why I read that wrong. Sorry, I have this like flashcard on my hand, and it's like a really hard to see things. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot a fancy big sit away. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches, and now I live the city life. And and now, and now what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to save me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back on it, at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? Oh. Oh. Me? Yeah, yeah, I get it, yeah. Cool. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a, a little talk, walk a talk. Come on now. That purple shell? I bought it when I was a city life. Ain't this shit cool? Look at that Game Boy Advance on the wall there. Gold. Limited edition, only in Japan. Ain't getting that shit anywhere else. Now, how you like this part? Just feast your eyes. Go on, just the champion's room. This is isn't this a sight? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort and girls throwing their pennies at you. Ooh wee. That's all waiting for you. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Total sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son. But there ain't no one, no, there ain't no one. Clawing your way to the top and talking, taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Parv. You got the eye for the, you got the eye of the tiger there. You gonna be the champ? I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a itty bitty contract to be a fighter. I ain't no thing, just take a second or two. Here, just jot down your name and sacrifice your soul to me. You signed the contract. Alright, cool. Now all of your money will be mine if you win. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario. Now you're Mario? He ain't, ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pod, he lacks a little punch. As a fighter's name, get me? How about Dickbag McGee? Great name. It'll get all the guys wet. Oh, it'll get all the guys wet. Are you wet? Are you hot? I'm feeling hot. Give me that turtle over there. I'm gonna fuck it. Let me see here. Bahooey! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Ha! Who? Ain't that a beaut? Dang it! Dang! If that ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Oh, okay, cool. I would, I would like to be the great plumber or red, the red menace. If I was the Red Menace, I'd be just fucking hurry up in Russia, really. Well, now that we got the business out of the way... Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? How you fucking doing? Yes, sir, you wish to see me. Ch 
sure did, hun. Jolene, this is great. This this is the great Gonzalez, our new rising star. Me and Peach would take him down to the old minor league locker room. Will alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. I'd like to lift up my glasses like an anime protagonist with glasses. Get that shine in there and completely blind me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by the, some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. He must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as you become relevant. Don't worry, guys. Jolene's voice is going to change repeatedly. <laughs> Welcome to the locker room. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, but as, you, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. And don't worry about the cum stains in the corner. That's just, that's just what the guys do. When you're just ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. As you can see, it's a purple Game Boy Advance. It's kind of shit, but hey, it's kind of it's kind of standard. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you will match up against. He will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick reserve a match. Okay, cool. Let's just do that. Oh, the automated match reserving system. What is your command? Reserve a match. You can reserve a match and view your ranking. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist, fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cave. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. Got any questions about the detail, rulers? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, Pod. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you'll just have to wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a, to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets the fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to the 11th, you'll get shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Do you understand all that? Yup! Okay, good. I was not going to fucking explain that to you again. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay! <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. <laughs> Gonzalez, much slum. Follow me, Bob. Okay, security's here. Escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Hold on, I'll talk to everybody here. If you have any questions, feel free to bomb. Ask me. I'll wreck you after all. Bomb! Take care of yourself, dog. And don't make any rookie mistakes. You know what I mean? I made a rookie mistake and I got fucked by that rock over there. It was not. It was not pleasant. Square enough next, folks, are the Hoppin' Houndhead, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammer and a great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting one. Ah, waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How are you fucking shroom, brown shrooms with legs doing? How do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? Are you ready for this fight? Ha! Are you kidding me, man? Ah, oh, we're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just to make us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Oh yeah, you fucking Goomba! I've killed thousands of you! I dig it dang, fight fans! The great Gonzalez is now striding on up! I tell you this, rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bug, punk! Fucking ow! Oh! Hey, that's not fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let these bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Ah, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Oh, yeah, you fucking shit! Oops, take these guys down. 
Alright, so, these battles are uh, interesting because they give you a... I'm not going to do anything for now. They give you a set, um, like a rule you have to follow through in the match. Sometimes, sometimes it'll be appeal through battle, sometimes it'll be don't let like your partner say Koops attack, don't use star power, don't use your hammer, etc, etc. And, uh, yeah. Fuck these Goombas. <laughs> what do we want? The great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was it the, like? What was this first taste of victory like? That fight was a joke. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. All right, cool. I just did everything, man. That's all cool. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play the crowd, you know? Pump them up and eat more. Hoping you give me more razzle dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene here will give you your fight money. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You got three coins. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up until you're, you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Miss Gonzalez. Yo, Rook! That was your first fight, dog. I'm King K, man, just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. That over there is the bomb. This guy here is Master Crash. He'll blow up, and then he fucking kills us all. Nice to meet you, bomb! Well, now that we've gotten now that we know each other, I'll give you an advice, bomb! As Miss Jolene was saying, you better bomb! Obey Mr. Grubber's conditions. If you clear the conditions, then when you get to fight the high rank foes, bomb! can't clear them, you bomb! End up fighting, end up battling a lower rank fighter, bomb! You can't climb up the bomb! Bomb, bomb! <laughs> yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got some advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, bomb! Advice is always useful, bomb, bomb! <laughs> right, man, whatever. Anyway, the lean machine over here is Rant Bandy Andy. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm not, I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Uh, yeah, uh, if you sleep in the bed over there, uh, just be careful about the stains. Uh, there's a lot of fucking that goes on in those beds. Just, just worry about it. Just don't worry about it. I would actually recommend sleeping in that on that futon or bench that's like right in the middle. Sure, there's springs, but like, uh, it's better than sleeping on those cum-stained fucking beds over there. Okay, cool. This last guy was a secret with the sweet purple cakes known as a cleftor. A cliff or no like my, my friend Mustache. I don't like you. You have Mustache. And I am Rock. Easy there, Cliff Dog. Dude, ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You needed something to ask us. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You and me got a vengeful square off, so good luck, man. Alright, so we are finally in the Glitz, Glitz Pit. That's what this place is called. And in the next episode, we will climb through the ranks, Coops. 